Hey Junk Monkey friends, we did not forget you. It is day 19 of the 20 day paint a piece of something or another challenge, right? Matt always laughs when I say that because it's true. We've been painting all kinds of stuff over the last, well today is day 19, right? Found this beauty, check her out, right? Probably like around the 1980s. Um, basically a replica throwing back to what's called like the French provincial style. You know all those beautiful pieces with curves and also even like a Queen Anne. So a bit of a mixture of two different styles of furniture going on here. But the nice thing is it's solid wood, right? It's been painted before. If you come in close, you'll see it might look white from far off, but it's kind of like, you know when things are yellow sometimes, so the paint is yellowed. And if you look on the top, there's lots of scratches and just chips and things like that, right? But that's okay. And I can see here there's lots of drip, uh, drip marks from the last person who tried to paint it, but I'm gonna love on it, play it up, it has character, and just totally change it into something else today. So, as you guys log on, I am Sonya. This is Matt behind the camera today, Today, tonight. I guess it's tonight now, right? That is Damn, I. we are trucking, yes. I am the one. This is the last day of the month. We get to spend the last day of the month together. Holy moly. Anybody else agree that this month has just completely flown by? Like, where was Christmas? And now January, February, into March. But I'm totally ready for spring flowers um, and rain and all that good stuff. Okay, because I do love the spring That means spring we kind of have weather. to get a new mower. Yes, it is. Matt's already thinking way past spring. I'm just thinking about laying in bed with all the rainy days. Like, that's the part I'm ready for, right? You know, little baby bunnies, lots of little shoots of flowers coming up, all that good stuff. So I'm Sonia. This is Matt. We make up Junk Monkey Paint Company, and we love to basically flip furniture, make things beautiful on a budget through the power of paint, okay? So this is what we got going on tonight. Babe, tell me who's here. I'm going to get ready. Lots do my of mixture. people. Okay. Lots right. of people. Right. Lots of people. Let me see. Let me see. Go back. Daniel Cox says tonight. hi, guys. Mary May says hello. Hey. Michelle Diaz, Shane from Colorado. Teresa says hello. Deborah Eshborn says hi, so you met. We hey, just checking in from Bowie, Texas. Chris says, hey, you got, hey, you got. <laughs> hi, hi, uh, hi. One eye, Teresa checking in from, uh, Danica says hello, hi. Hello. Um, Linda says it's a long day. You have no idea. I haven't slept for two days, so. Yes. I've been crying a sick dog and driving all over the place. <laughs> True story. And people keep waking me up. I don't True sleep story. anymore. I don't sleep. I can't remember last you time I slept. You can sleep when we're done with the paint challenge. How about yeah. that? No, it's just that. Uh, well, you do, got a van now. You got all these big seats so you can yeah, take, a, you take know a what? nap on, right? Yeah, screw that. I'm not even going to go to the house tonight. You're, you're just going to, well, yeah, we're just going to sleep in the parking lot. Yeah, Did you guys see? We got the new yeah. junk monkey mobile. D says, like the van. Yes, yes. We're yeah, very excited yeah. because... As our company grows, we need lots of space. Guys, listen, you guys have been watching me do cabinets over the last, like, two years. A lot of them. And uh, I just look at it now that we have the van, I'm thinking to myself, dang, how did I fit people's kitchens, entire kitchens, into the back of my Kia Soul, right? Mm -hmm. But as we grow and paint and worry about the junk monkey gets out, um, we definitely needed to upgrade to a bigger space. And we have plans, as we've been telling you guys, to... Take the junk monkey on the road. Get out. See this beautiful country. You guys know I moved from Canada to the U.S. You guys are going to be a great excuse for me to get out to visit all of you guys and all you fine uh, people, of course. So I would love to hear tonight some of your best places that you think I should travel with Matt, of course. We're gonna, I'm going to take Matt with me, too. We are going to uh, take the highway and uh, just visit some fun places this summer. So we want to see where you are. We'd love to come hang out, maybe do a paint class. We'll see. We'll hit a few spots around the country you know what i'm saying by the way the color i'm using tonight is called ocean blue it's a pretty blue color it's i love blue. this color i think it'll go really good with the white sometimes when i paint um i make use of the paint color that's already on it okay so instead of trying to cover up the white you guys know i'm a shabby painter hello i love to make things look distressed and old and i love to see layers of paint coming through so you know what, just because it's white already um, doesn't mean that I have to worry about that. Even though white is probably one of the hardest colors, pink colors to cover, um, you definitely have to do more coverage with uh, with a white underneath. But I think I'm going to play it up and maybe a little, let a little bit of that white come through, right? We're going to see as we go. So what do you guys think? A blue and white combo? Plus a blue, when I think about it, is like a royal color, right? So this piece is kind of grand. You know what I mean? I think that navies and... Uh, deeper blues would be really pretty on it. Red would be really pretty on it, but it just needs a statement color, you know? Well, 
One thing. I'm going to add a little I'm bit I'm not more. taking the van downtown of any big cities. What? <laughs> oh, man. I tell you. We drove. Anybody on here from Philadelphia or that area that passes through a lot? Let me just tell you. Um, wow. You guys you guys drive fast and scary. Yeah, and you don't. Oh, I white knuckled it last night. You guys don't know night. what a yield sign is. Holy moly. I had so many horns honking at me last night. Yeah, because they. Did you hear me? I was traveling yeah. behind you, right? Yeah. And uh, as we were taking the new vehicle home last night, and we did not leave the dealership till like 8 o'clock, downtown Philadelphia. So Matt's got this big honking truck, like this big honking van now, right? Uh, I am eye level. To take it looks after. small. It looks small, but I'm it actually... No small. I'm actually eye level with tractor trailers in this It's thing. crazy. So <laughs> I'm in the car behind him. Have no idea. Remember, girl from Canada does not know any main streets or anything like that. And so I'm following Matt and trying to keep up with my GPS. And uh, let's just say I just felt like there were people shooting out left and right yeah. onto the highway, scaring me half to death. Because well, you have to go with is, the flow. The problem is, is the people that are so coming nice that onto is, the highway... You see how nice that paint is? Beautiful, creamy. Don't know smooth. how to merge. They just pull right out. <laughs> and, they, and then they get pissed off when they pull Scary. out because, oops, oops, oops. because they think you should just, because you're already in the lane and on the road, they think you should just, uh, they, they should be ahead of you. I just think that they knew so. where they were going and maybe I didn't, right? By the way, I'm adding some extra bond tonight, okay? Extra bond is what you put into your paint when you want to... Um, you know, if you try to want to eliminate the chippiness, you want to have more control over it, right? Milk paint does what it's what it wants. When you put the extra bond in it, it helps prevent the chipping. So I don't know what it's going to do on this surface. I don't know the kind of paint that's on here. It is kind of shiny. Maybe this is, I don't know, what would you think on here? Maybe a semi-gloss of a latex paint of some sort. So I'm going to add a little bit of extra bond in here just to help it. And I do, of course, want a little bit of chippiness and distressing, but I don't really measure it out, um, you know, get OCD about it. I just kind of, as I say, do a glug, 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 <laughs> and I'm good to go, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and mix this up right here real fast. Yeah. But, yeah, I just think everybody else knew where they were going. Me, not so yeah. much. Yeah, but you know what? White I drive, knuckled it. Well, I, I'll say this, Michelle. I drive in New York City all the time, and New York City is was nowhere near that madness last night. Maybe we just hit it at a bad time. I that don't was know. insane. I've never seen anything oh, like that. I was scared. And I drive I drove all over Boston, New York City. Right. Um you know, Miami, you know, you name it. We've been there. This is the extra Detroit, bond and the paint and that we're was, using. And tonight. it was nothing like Philadelphia. It was crazy. Yeah, is anybody on here from Philadelphia tonight? I don't know. There's so Seriously, if we come to Philadelphia just pick us up on the <laughs> outskirts. <laughs> And uh, you can, like, taxi us around because, man, yeah, man, it was like, it was, it, it was, we were on a joyride last night. If you don't use the extra bond, you'll get, get chipping. Yeah. Um, but Most you likely you will, bond, unless yeah. it's on a really um, yeah. thirsty piece of wood, right? Mm, okay, so. one side. One Andy side says, uh, she says, it is so horrible out here in the Philly suburbs. They have uh, no idea what stop signs are. Turn signals are for. <laughs> <laughs> I, went, I only missed like two roads last night, but yeah. let me just tell you, missing two roads in a big, massive place like Philadelphia, yeah. although let's just be honest, so, a few yeah. times I was like passing signs and I'm like, ooh, you know, breaking out fresh prints. Yeah. You know, you would have loved them if been in the car. But I have to give a shout out to Neil out there and his team out there at uh, Pacifico Ford. Was that the name of the dealership? It was. They... Yeah. they took care of us on a moment's notice because that was not the plan we were actually about 100 miles north and uh the deal fell through up north and uh yeah we went down you just to, love it uh, when you travel all that way roxanne hours. roxanne what's roxanne. This, roxanne what's the snorty face shared about uh oh snorty face shared <laughs> snorty face shared she what said snorty shared snorty face look what the heck is a snorty face shared uh-oh, I don't know what that means. What does that mean? I don't know. What do we do? I don't know. It's I don't know. Shared. That's a new one. Yeah. That's a new one for me. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I want to... Yeah, thanks to Neil and those guys at Pacific, Pacifico mm -hmm. Ford. Yeah. Uh, they have a bunch of dealerships right across from the airport. Vehicle shopping is, like, stressful, right? Yeah. It's good, but it's also a stressful thing. Yeah. So, yeah, we did. We traveled. So, yesterday yeah. was a crazy day. We did not get home from Philadelphia. We didn't even start out planning to go there. Uh, we were going more north. 
And uh, when we got there, the vehicle we went to look at mysteriously had disappeared. So yeah. we uh, did some more research yeah, while we were out in that area. disappeared on purpose. And so uh, we ended up, you know, finding a vehicle that we did like, though. But we were so late getting back last night because, you know, we were doing round robins in downtown uh, Philadelphia trying to figure out how to get out of the rat race. So that's why we decided yeah. to move. To move our day 19 of the paint a piece of furniture a day challenge until tonight, right? Yeah, yeah, Good so. things come to those who wait. Debbie Kane, are you originally from Newfoundland? Yes, she is from Lissie, Newfoundland. Yes, from Lissie, absolutely. Way up north. Peninsula. Debbie's at Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. So. Yeah. Next time I catch the ferry through, girl, everybody, I'll give you a shout out. Everybody is uh, telling us we need to come out. Yeah, um, somebody said Minnesota. Yeah. I do want to get out to Minneapolis because I, I do want to go see something in Minneapolis. Okay. And, you got to uh, tell me what it is? Well, you know what it is. In Minneapolis. Yeah. I, we, we talked about it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah don't tell them. Don't, don't tell, tell them? them. Yeah, no, Why? No, because it's top secret. It's top secret? Okay, top so we'll secret. tell them when we get there? Yeah, what you're and then... Uh, so, yeah, guys, we got this van, and uh, we got this really cool van where you can take up the seats. It's a really nice, really nice super van. Um, but, anyway, you can take up the seats and have tons and tons of back storage. So, one of the goals, as you know, for us, as we grow and... For those of you who have kind of followed along the chit chat here as we hang out and paint together, uh, one of the really cool things that we're looking at doing this year with she, our paint. She thought it was a smiley face. She thought it was, oh, it's not the snort face? Oh, uh, she scared the hell out of me. I was like, I was like, I don't know what you want, lady, but take it. Funny. For the love of God, take it. <laughs> She's going to get mad, stamp her foot. That's right. Holy moly. Yeah, so. um, but anyway, what, one of the things that we've been talking about is, as you guys say to us, Hey, where can we get your paint? Can I find it locally? And right now, you can always find it through us, of course. That's how we're able to keep the price so cheap. You're getting it directly through us, right? Mm -hmm. um, and right on our website. But one of the things that we would like to do, because you guys keep asking and we listen, is that you would like to see it uh, in local places all throughout your areas, right? So mm -hmm. one of the things we're ramping up to do in 2018 is to be able to work with retailers all across this beautiful country. And we're excited because, you know what, we're going to have to travel to those retailers. We want to have great relationships with them. And, uh, we're, you know, and we're thinking about, honestly, doing deliveries, you know, to them and all that goodness. To be able to set them up and do launches in their stores. Tell you guys about the new stores that are coming yeah. online with There's us. There's going to be a lot of big changes coming to Mon yeah. Junk Monkey Paint Company. We've got lots of great things um, planned. We had, we had to learn to adapt and overcome some, some things in... Uh, we're getting ready, and what it did was open up all kinds of new uh, avenues for us. So we're getting ready to uh, to uh, be Rocket Man. To go mobile, right? Yeah, be to Rocket totally Man. To totally go mobile. So, um, but anyway, yeah, so we've got lots of great things planned, and we will keep you up to speed as we move forward. Um, but the funny <laughs> thing is, when we, we got our paint company started, it wasn't... We didn't start a paint company, right? So big businesses think, hey, you know, we can make a paint line and we can sell it. For us, we just started as furniture painters uh, that designed our own. The extras yeah, that we just made. designed our own paint and it just kept growing and growing from there. So, as you guys say, where can we find you? We're really, I say, a guy and girl shop, right? Mom and pop guy and girl shop. And uh, so, anyway, we are growing. And so the van was a great investment for us. To be able to go get out, and get out and see you guys. Yeah, get closer to you guys, right? So yeah. we're excited this summer. Yeah. By the way, anybody live near the beach? Because I could use a good excuse <laughs> to go to the beach. Well, I've seen Albuquerque, New Mexico. I wanted to... How uh, far is that? Well, Albuquerque's... That's... Well, that's good. Uh, I'd say uh, Albuquerque is mm -hmm. probably a good 1,600 miles from here. Okay. What's 1,600 miles? How many miles did we drive yesterday back and forth? Uh, Good God. We drove, we drove 600, felt well, like 700 we, yesterday. Like, like a drive home to Canada, yeah, right? Yeah, so we drove 700 and we spent five oh. hours of it sitting around. Oh, so, man. So, anyways, yeah, yeah we can drive. Brenda says, come uh, come to Plant City, Florida, the strawberry capital. Ooh. Bad news for you, Brenda. I am yeah. allergic to strawberries. Yeah, allergic. <laughs> but you know what? I'm not... <laughs> So it's like you, you know what I mean? If I'm allergic to fish. Dee Dee says, come fish. to Tupelo, Mississippi, Elvis's, Elvis Presley's birthplace. Yes, Dee Dee, but I think what you don't know, well, what you don't know about me in Tupelo, Mississippi, we got a lot of history. Well, I don't have history. Yeah. So, so I'm not on America. Actually, I got, I got history in Aberdeen, Mississippi, in Jackson, Mississippi, in Guntown, in Natchez, and all those places. 
So, yeah, yeah, I know this place. This is one thing I've learned <laughs> that uh, when you're in the Marine Corps, your your connections go far and wide. Yes. Okay? So, yeah, but I would love to go down to Mississippi. It's only the one, the one of the few hard words that I can spell. Mississippi. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. Very nice. Thank you very much. I'm very proud of that. Can you tell? Thank you very little. I'm just so glad that I had an opportunity to tell everybody that I could spell it because, you know, I just had to redeem myself there after I asked some stupid Still questions. Still buy through you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go to our website, Jump Monkey Paint. You can order it online or, or on our website, but we'll also be making it available through retailers very soon. We're going to be rolling out our retailer yeah. plans. We so, are. Anyways. It's a coming. Yep. But before you kind of do bigger things like that, you've got to get your system in place, right? So we've, we've got lots of good stuff going, guys. We've been so busy, um, and I can't wait to tell you all about yeah. it, which we will. So, yeah, we'll probably be hitting... Uh, we would love that. We'll be hitting Michigan yeah, and, the, top, and the UP of Michigan, up through Wisconsin to, to, to uh, Minneapolis. I, I don't know what when we're going to be doing that, but I got people to see. <laughs> So, people to see in places to go. Well, huh? yeah, my old gunny and stuff. Right. Is that a transit van? It's a uh, uh, Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. It's it's bigger than a transit van. It's like this giant thing. Yeah. That, we looked at cargo yes. ones, but this was really cool because yeah. you can take out the seats. So, guys, you know what? If we want, we can really leave the seats in there. But we're looking yeah. at making paint deliveries, right, and doing yeah. things like that. So we want to make sure that we have that space. Yeah. But, you know, we could keep the seats in. We'll just let you know that, hey, come take a ride in our van. There's nothing creepy about that, right? We'll yeah. just let you know when we're coming through your neighborhood. <laughs> Connie Bacon says you can't drive to Hawaii. Well, we drive to Newfoundland, and it's an island you across the drive, ocean. You right? yeah. Watch us. Listen, Watch he's, he's us. He's a Marine. He'll hook it up in some, like, amphibious <laughs> vehicle craft or something. You watch and see. He'll figure something uh, out. Oh, Gaylene. Funny stuff. You hear that. Well, just hang out, Gaylene. Hopefully the connection is good there, kiddo. Uh, Galen's going to have news. some storms over there. Bring it on to Northwest Indiana, Green yep. Bay, Wisconsin, checking Ooh. in, upstate New York. Um, yeah, we hit New York and uh, Massachusetts a lot too. Oh, your sister's watching. Hi, Anna Banana. Come to Kentucky, see the world's biggest bell. I got to go. Well, that depends, the world's Katie. world's biggest bell. That depends, Katie. Are you, are you a flatlander or are you a hillbilly from Kentucky? Because... <laughs> Because I got I got stories about that too. Oh so, man! Yingling Brewery, come see us. Been there, done that. There you go, Matt. Yes. What about me? Uh, what about me here? So. We're like counting off places because you've been there. Heck no! While you're in Mississippi, come to come on to Philadelphia. Sounds, Philadelphia. Yeah, Dana. Says, Wait a minute! I was in Philadelphia last no, night. No, Philadelphia, Mississippi. Okay, all right. I was gonna say I was in Philadelphia. Remember? Dana says, I had "Sounds to drive like to you're a very life. bad boy, Matt. You have no idea." Uh, thank goodness. Listen, all I can say is thank goodness I rescued him. Okay, you guys know. You guys really know, right? Okay, she right, attempted to d domesticate me. Yes. You know, it's still training in progress, but I think he's doing pretty good. Is I'm going to keep him at this is point. Is history another word for unspeakable adventure? Lori, Probably. Lori Scott wants to go. Yes. Yes, my. Uh, Did you say Lori Scott wants to go or wants to know? Wants to know. Well, Lori. Lori, uh, we got we had space in the van. If, if I ever write a book about Lori, I'll let you put shimmer on it. <laughs> All right, that looks really good, right? I'm really liking that. So we got. I need to get to the other side over here. Do you want to come face that way while I so that way they can watch me do the side? It's really pretty. Come to Waco, home of the Branch Davidian mm -hmm. fiasco, and oh, Chip and Gianna again. You know, it's funny. I watched that you know unfold back in the day. What's that? The Branch Davidian, the David Koresh, when uh, feds went in and raided and it burned down and all those people died. And I know you think of Waco and you think of Chip and Joanne Gaines, but uh -huh. when I think of Waco, right. I, think of, I think about the siege at the uh, Branch Davidian compound. Oh, wow. Who was in the Marines? I was in the Marines a long, long time. Come to North Carolina. Those are my old stomping grounds there. Uh, do you get moose in a jar from home? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Can I yeah. admit that? Yeah, we actually, Debbie, can, we, right? got, we get a lot of moose from home in jars, yes. So. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, Debbie's Newfoundlander, right? Yeah. Oh, or is she the Yarmouth one? She's from Yarmouth, yeah. yeah. Is she yeah, from did... Newfoundland or living in Yarmouth? Uh, she's from Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. Okay, gotcha. So. How's that? Well, Matt I should, should say... write a book and call it Monkey Tales. Monkey Tales. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> the animated series will follow shortly. It'll be on Honestly, at midnight. Good. It'll be on yeah, at midnight. You might, yeah, definitely kids. the After Dark version, okay? Let me just tell you. Uh, well, I like Mississippi. I got, like I said, I got a lot of friends that I... 
consider family in Mississippi. So there you go. So come to Texas. We love Chip and Joanne. Love their story in Waco. Yeah, right. Yeah, so. I would like to go there. Well, Texas. Did we just see they open up a bakery? Yeah, I got good friends in college, station Texas. So. Yeah, we ha I definitely want to go to Texas. We're in the UK. Sure. I'm in Norway. I don't know. I got to figure out where my old gunny's at. So, anyways. Yeah, well, he was he he retired master sergeant, but he, I was he was my gunny. He was. Uh, <laughs> when I was a young Padawan learner, he uh, Padawan. Yeah, You're funny. He, he used to uh, torment me. All right, I'm gonna add a this little bit more. This is milk This is ocean blue. Yep. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. <laughs> Chantel says, please, like ha please have candy. Here. I'll get in the van. <laughs> oh. Oh, too uh. funny. Yeah, there's nothing creepy about you know two adults driving around in a in a white van through town saying. Will you be stocking more of the uh, thick cream milk paint soon? It's Act done. Actually, yes, yeah, we, we just, just finished, finished packaging, packaging it tonight, getting yes. it ready for ship out. So as soon as I get off here, you'll see that today we were working on uh, getting our uh, stock back up again online because it has to be ready to go out for you guys, right? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and do that when I get off of here. So yes, 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 absolutely. Uh, Michelle, we're going to be doing mom and pop shops. No, no big time uh, retailers. Nope. And let's see. Pay us tons and tons of money where we can just sit on the beach and. <laughs> You're funny. Yeah. You're funny. There will be no sitting on the beach for you. Springfield, Missouri. Yeah, I gotta get St. Louis and see some people. Get a free stay in Wahoo at my daughter's Airbnb. Oh yeah, yeah. We just have to do what a painting. <laughs> I love B&Bs. Is that what she said? B&B. Yeah, or Wahoo. Ooh. In, Are you kidding me? Yeah. Is that a white? Yeah, that's a white. No. How cool would that be, right? Yes. yes. Dang. We'll have a whole monkey retreat, okay? We'll just yes. go hang out down in Good Hawaii. Good evening from South Alabama. How awesome would you. that be? Um, Alabama. Actually, we're going... We might be in Atlanta. Did you ever get anything back from I don't know. I have to check my email. Yeah, we might be in Atlanta real soon. Actually, so we're not going to be too far from uh, Alabama. So, um... Alabama. How do you say it? Alabama! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't do it justice like you, right? So, guys, I just Roll mixed up. Time. I just mixed up a little bit more paint. So, when I talk to you guys about, um, you know, when you say, "Well, how much paint? You know, can I make up a bunch? Oh. And how do I store it? Oh, Nancy. Don't store it. Just make it up as you go." Oh, Nancy, you just ruined it. Uh oh. She says doing? I'm less than an hour from 29 Palms. You just totally ruined it for me. You're Oop. not going to 29 Palms. I'm not going back to 29 Palms. You can't make me go back to 29 Palms. Sounds really interesting. No. When no. you talk about it, now I feel like... You I know, you know, I, I, I know. always... You've always talked about it as not such a great place to no. go back to. I know. No. But you were no. stationed there, right? So... Mm. All right. Yeah. Harder totter! That's it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, anyways. Uh, so. I have, an inf I have an interesting story about yeah, Twenty Nine Palms and Robert Plant. So, Who, you or yeah. her? Robert Plant. Yeah. Yeah, me. How long does it that take to get in order? Here, uh, it takes seven to ten business days because we hand make day. everything. So that's please how long it takes. Um, ooh, oh, oh, if it's any longer, please message us and we will palms. look it up. Just a local single owner. <laughs> I got an idea for a place to stay. Where? A place to carry your paint in Durant, Oklahoma. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Woo. Come to Dyersburg, Tennessee, 80 miles north of Memphis. Uh, Bill Street or Oblivion, as we used to say. Come to Phoenix. Come to Albany, Georgia. We were in Albany, Georgia. Albany, Georgia. Did we pass through there? Yeah. I think yeah, Albany, Georgia. Yeah, well, Albany, Georgia is where there's a, a repair depot for the Marine Corps. Oh. But we weren't in Albany, Georgia. So, anyways. Yeah, 29 stumps, too hot. You got that right. Uh, but I'm up in the mountains where it's nice and cool. With no oh. heat, plenty of rain. Well, if you're near Bridgeport, then we, we then we got another problem. <laughs> What's Bridgeport? Bridgeport is where, remember I used to uh, Dang. make the run from Bridgeport to uh, Vegas and, and 29 Palms? I don't even that know. That was cool. That was Mountain Warfare School. Oh, okay. But, uh, so, uh, Linda says, my son's a Marine and hopes to go to 29 Palms after he leaves. No, he doesn't, Linda. No, he doesn't. He does not want to go to CACs. I'm sorry. He may say he wants to go to CACs, but he'll get there. 
He does not like Linda says 29 Palms is a favorite of all Marines. Yes, yes, yes. That, that, yeah, you got it. Uh, come to North Georgia. Uh, Trenton, uh, Tethon, Washington. Terry, how you been? So, anyhow. Yeah, I'd love to go to Georgia. He never wanted to be in 29 Palms. And thank goodness he wasn't. He never got to go to, go to Cax? Really? Uh, he didn't live until he went to Cax. I love how you said it. Cax! That's what it is, CAX, Combined Arms Exercise. Yeah, but the way you say it is CAX. Yeah, well, that's because Yikes. it's like, I'm trying not to throw up when I yeah, say Yeah, I it. can tell. Like, you're definitely having some, like, uh, uh, repulse or something going on there. I don't know, man, what happened. Paramanathem. What? Is that a... Paramanathem. That sounds like kind of He refers to it, uh, left out loud. He prefers it to Camp Lejeune. Camp Lejeune's great. You just got to get away from it. You... You know, when you get off, go off base. That's the secret. Go down to Surf City right out the back gate. and It's good. I love Camp Lejeune. Even though it's all swampy all around. If you can, you know, if you find a place to escape are you, to. Are you watching me paint these down not here? Too. Okay. Am I done? I'm down here now. You're getting stuff all over the floor. Probably. It's all water-based. I'll watch it, wash it out. Guys, I keep Lysol wipes. And it is awesome for cleaning um, spots off your floor and Thank stuff like you, that. Sherry. Uh, let's see. Yuma. Yeah, Yuma is there for a short time when we had the Phoenix Missile Systems. Uh, how about Nebraska? Well, Nebraska's in the middle of everything. Kind of got to go through Kansas, Iowa, and Nebraska to get to places. So. Sounds good to me. Anybody you, in South like Carolina? Flat? <laughs> Do I like flat? Do you like flat? What is that? Riley probably. Oh there. yeah, I forgot. Riley's in the bathroom. So, I admin these Marine Corps pages. That's fine. Oh. Uh, should you the clear wax after using the anti-aging glaze? The anti-aging glaze. I think they Listen, if we sell heavy. Listen, if we sell an anti-aging glaze, then I think I should be putting it on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anti-aging glaze. Probably the antiquing glaze. And maybe there oh, was, a, yeah, yeah, there was yeah. an autocorrect, I'm yeah, pretty sure. Yeah. But listen, if we, babe, listen, if we could come out with an anti-aging glaze, then you can live on the beach, okay? Yeah. Because I would even buy that stuff, all right? Anti-aging. Sign me Tom, up. you were stationed in Beaufort. You weren't stationed in Beaufort. You were stationed in, in, in Paris Island. You were in the air station at Beaufort, huh? So, there you go. Well, Beaufort, South Carolina is, of course, <coughs> you cross the bridge, you're in Paris Island. So. Cool. All right. Let's see. Anyone All right, I'm going to try this. Anyone know what, Julia? We got corn and cows. So that's what we got in Pennsylvania. Corn and cows. Then over Wyoming. Yeah, I really like uh, Jackson Hole. I used to go there when I was a kid, actually. Where's Jackson Hole? Wyoming. Oh. Sonia, does it have to be Lysol or any disinfectant white? Yes. Lysol is the brand, but you guys know I'm not a careful. Rose lives uh, in Myrtle Beach. You can use whatever you want, right? Mm -hmm. Use the dollar store ones. Mm -hmm. So, Station in Hawaii. Rose is in Myrtle Beach? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Is there a place you haven't been? I've been to a lot of places. A lot of people used to take pity on me and take me home when I was in service, so... I made a lot of friends, and I got to see a lot of places there. Wherever the Marine Corps didn't send me, I got... Somebody took me there. There you go. <laughs> Turn the camera on you so we can put a face to the voice. Uh, you can see me. There's just... You just got to do a little investigating, that's all. So. I'll take 12 jars of anti-aging guys. <laughs> For it. If paint I come your to your store, and wrap it on your is face. your paint there? Yes. Why wouldn't it be here? Yeah, we're open to the public three days Friday, a week, Friday, 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 Saturday, and Sunday. But just remember that because we hand make hand pour, it is like a bakery. So if you would like to put an order in, Anna, then make sure you message us really, before. Stop, okay? stop, stop. Anna is finding out she's having a new grandchild while watching us all. Number seven, Anna, get off of this and go. Go to your thing, yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yay. Donna says she needs a gallon of anti-aging. <laughs> I, I, I'm sensing a... Uh, a new product business, launch. Yeah. A new product launch. Yes. yes, there we go. Too funny, guys. Everybody would love you more with the anti-aging. Yeah, right? Yeah, babe. Yeah. There you go. 
Work on that, man. Just, you know what? April, get a cocktail. Just relax. Watch us go back to sleep. Come to Kentucky, bluegrass pool and beautiful horses. I, 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 I used to go uh, towards London up Natural Bridge area. My best friend is from that area. So, sharing is caring. There you go. Absolutely. Jackson is okay, but we need to come down to explore the small town in Wyoming, not the tourist town. It's been a lot of years since I've been there. What was the bar? I was a little kid and I was in the, oh yeah, the million dollar, uh, the million dollar, uh, the million uh, dollar cowboy bar, the silver dollar bar, where the uh, counter's now is silver dollars. So, I heard American Pickers is planning on coming to North Georgia. You know, those guys come through here all the time. They put signs up around here and they come over here. We're going to be like American Pickers. You know, we've got a van. Yeah. You know, me and Matt, we can just drive on through, like, pull up in random people's houses and be like, hey, Kalea, we, heard, we heard you got some junk out there in the back. Kalea says, Kalea says uh, you should come to Texarkana. Texarkana. The boys are thirsty in Atlanta and there's beer in Texarkana. And we're <laughs> going to bring it back wherever it takes. Eastbound down, rolling out and trucking. We're going to do what they say can't be done. I'm assuming this is a song. It is. Mm -hmm. What song is it? Smoking the Bandit, Eastbound Down, Jerry Reed. Okay, alright. Remember? No, but okay. I used to sing that at the racetracks when I was a little kid. Alright. Take so, your word for it. Janet Patton, did the new brushes come? Yes, they did. And I would say that 75% of them have already been sent out. And then as of tomorrow morning, the rest will go out. So if you've ordered pre-ordered a brush... If it has not already shipped, it will by tomorrow. Yeah. Absolutely. Donna got and, hurt. And, by the way, I should let you know, guys know, I have a second batch of 50 brushes on the way. Yeah. And instead of pre-ordering, I'm just going to go ahead and put the link active as soon as they're here. That way you guys don't have to wait. So, as soon as I get them over the next few days, I'm going to post the link. And then the first 50 people can have the, the next batch of the 50 brushes that are coming over from Holland. Okay? Yes, you can use our chalk paint for a chalk paint board. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I paint over anything I want to turn into a chalkboard. I will go and I, I'll find like thrift store uh, picture frames that have the most god awful ugly frames. Um, not a frame, but pictures in them. Paint over the glass. Uh, paint over anything into a chalkboard you can. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, Donna got her new clean on brush today. Oh, nice! Linda has eight by ten glossies of me for sale. If you want them signed, that'll be an extra $20. Oh, my God. Too funny. Just letting you know. i got to make my money, right? Right. If you ever dump me, how am I going to eat? Right. Yeah. <laughs> got to have options, right? Yeah. There you go. Got to have What's options. the name of your blue you're using? It's Ocean Blue. It is. So, Sissy says hello from my backdoor creations in Midland, Texas. Hey, girl. Hello how are you? in Midland, Texas. What have you been creating in your backyard this week, girl? Yeah. I saw you on a video in Insomnia's Facebook Let me page. Let over here. See? There you go. Donna knows how to find mm -hmm. me. She should be a private investigator. Dana knows how to find me. I'm sorry. Can't read right now. Do I you, see chipping. You need the anti aging Yes, it's starting to happen. Uh, yep, yeah, it's starting to happen. Remember, this case is unpredictable. You never know what you're going to see, what's going to happen. So as it dries, it's going to do all kinds of stuff. Which is amazing, right? It's know, the I mean, unpredictable what? paint. Why don't you try to seal in some of that? Right I think I will. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah. That's what I love about milk paint. The chalky style paint is the milk with the muscles, right? It sticks to pretty much everything under the sun. We just say, grab a brush and go bananas. Okay. And uh, it's you. on there good. Milk paint is the unpredictable. It chips. It does weird stuff like crackle. Gives you all kinds of looks to your piece. You never really know. So you get really a custom look with it. Yeah. And uh, so that's what makes it fun. Betty June said, if you can see me, come to Arkansas. Come to Arkansas? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Arkansas is right on the way to a lot of places, too. Cool. We have cocktails in California. You know what? A true story. I always get Arkansas mixed up. I want to say Arkansas for some reason. I think it's because, you know, being Canadian, it was hard to learn that uh, state. Yeah. But the way it's spelled, it looks like Arkansas. Yeah. It is Arkansas. No, it's Arkansas. Right. But that's the way it's spelled. That's why I'm, okay, now you're messing with me. No, it's true. But yeah, right? Nancy says we have cocktails in California. Just get me to a tiki bar, Nancy, and we'll be all good. So yeah. Oh, my goodness. What is the wipes used for? 
to get any sort of, um, whether you're using a chalky style paint or a milk paint, that it just helps get paint off the floor or if you're, even if you're working on like mirrors or frames and uh, you just kind of want to clean up any little specks that get places, it is a great way. It dissolves and just picks up anything. It's amazing, right? And they're cheap, yeah. so get them and keep them in your paint stash. So somebody wants to know, uh -huh. Judy wants to know what kind of uh, brush do you use for Polly? She's coming, she's finishing mm -hmm. paint. I have a brush for Polly. Let me see where I have it linked to. If you guys, when you're done here, hit message on our Facebook page, uh, message Pickles. He's programmed to know the link for my brushes. So if you message him and say, hi Pickles, he'll write back and he'll say, what can I help you with? And you could, there's a section there for Sonia's tools and it's links to all my favorite brushes. Mm -hmm. But I love the short handled, rubbered handled, um, they're called Shortcuts. I love them. Blue Hawk makes one, and then I'm trying to remember the name of the other companies. It's Sherline, I think it is, that makes one. They're awesome. Uh, Donna, yes you can. Yeah, that's how you do it. You uh, seal afterwards. You need to come to Montreal, really beautiful in the summer. You were in Montreal during the winter. I love Montreal. She yeah. brought me back sushi when I couldn't get sushi in Newfoundland. I did. Like, how nice she was that? She flew in for, for me. I <laughs> did. Yeah, you're right. I forgot all about that. But yeah, I'm glad yeah. you remembered it. Yeah, so, it was nothing like getting in a taxi and being like, where's your, you know, where's your sushi place? Yeah. And to find it, I'm allergic now to seafood. My God, I could have killed myself. You see what I did for you? Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I got in a taxi, taxi and I said, where's your, uh, on the way to the airport, give me, you know, break me, bring me to your closest sushi place. I held on to your sushi through the freaking airport, sat it in my lap to bring, fly it back, like how many provinces over, so yeah. you could have sushi, right? So Lynette says we need to get a Malakoff Antique Junction Ooh. in Malakoff, Texas. We will take you guys fishing too. That sounds Sold. Good. <laughs> that sounds really good. Would it be similar in color to Liberty Blue? Yes, it's very similar to Liberty Blue. Yeah, it's like a royal kind of a blue, right? Yeah. It's really uh, can you chalk paint Let me get used my for chalkboard? Yes, pad. yes it can. What's that? Our chalk paint can be used for chalkboard. Yeah, the chalk yes. style? Chalky style, absolutely. Yep. We can't wait for you to come to Williamsburg, Virginia. I want to go back because I want to... That's like... Don't they have a lot of like historic places down there? Yeah, beautiful? historic. Yeah, yeah like really nice yeah, places. Including Williamsburg. Um, they used to have um, a little diner that was next to the Howard Johnson's going out of town. I think it was Ruth's. I can't remember which one it was. It was always good. We used to go there, eat lunch there all the time. It was like, you know, old school diner. And then uh, they built a deli going outside of town in a strip mall. And it was called New York Deli. I'm not sure. I think it was after you got the pot pottery barn. But they had really good sandwiches there. They had an eggplant farm sandwich, mm -hmm. which was flipping awesome. It must have been. You can still so, remember it. Yeah, well, yeah, I do. Um, a lot of good eight places to eat down there. Yeah, I got to go back to... Uh, <laughs> we used to, when we'd uh, go to Bush Gardens, I would go to the German... Uh, Oktoberfest uh, place. Mm -hmm. I eat like a pig, dude. Eat like a pig. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Elvis is in the house. Okie dokie. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> You're welcome, Charlie. I hope I answer your question. So, yeah, cut the live. I'll fire here in New York through the rain. Oh, really? Or Northern California. Or California. So this piece was white underneath. Somebody painted it before. There was drips and stuff from where they painted it before, but I'm just going to embrace it. Right. Going with the milk paint is going to give me just a really ultra flat, you know, dead flat look. So all that character is really just being played up by it. Mm -hmm. And now as I distress, I'm bringing back some of that white. So it's beautiful, right? I love it. Katie wants cards with our paint colors to, to give us so when she sells her flips, she yes. can... Sell the paint. Absolutely. Message us, Katie. Absolutely. Can you show the sample wall? Not tonight because uh, it's we're, we're doing. Yeah, we're doing it. It's barricaded right now. So. We've got, yeah, I've got, got too much. Yeah, junk we're in front we're of trying it. to catch up on uh, all kinds of stuff. So lots of shipping going yeah. on. You guys have been keeping us busy. Send Linda a signature stamp and make her the president of your fan club. She's already the president of my fan club. <laughs> Under a stamp? Yeah. Like a, like a signature machine. Yeah, like, you know. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, did yeah. you add hippy dippy? No. No, no but hippy -dippy. I did add some extra bond to help it um, hold on better. 
um, because it was like a really shiny kind of paint that was underneath here. So you can put as much as you need, but I just kind of went with this, knowing that I wanted to stick on pretty well, but um, I also wanted to do some destruction. No, no, you can chalk paint any color. You can do any any kind of color in the chalk paint. We've done them blues, we've done them reds, we've done them... Oh, you're talking about chalkboard yeah, walls? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Heck yeah. Oh, I love that, right? Because all milk paint do the same unpredictable. Don't know. Don't we, are, know. we can talk we to you about our milk. Yeah. yeah. Our paint is designed to ship. I will tell you that I've... We've done a lot of research on milk paint, and um, you will read reviews that are on YouTube that will say that you know they couldn't get the chip or that sort of thing. But they we can definitely get speak to on. yeah. Speak right. to our own, right? I, I can't show the wall tonight because I just can't get to it. Tomorrow night we will. I'll clean up my space over there. So I feel like I have some lots of distressing right here. How it kind of chipped away here. I want to like bring some on this side as well. So I'm going to work this side a little know bit. Enough paint's good for sign making. Heck yeah, it is. Yeah. Custom signs. You Sonic got friend. it. Thanks, Matt. My new best friend. Come on now. Flattery. I'm allergic to, to compliments and flattery. My head begins to swell. <laughs> I won't be to able to get out over there. there. So it kind of like you see what I'm saying. I've got chippiness going on over here. So to have a, like a more of a perfect looking door over here, I need to bring some of that into it. So maybe just a little bit more. I sent Pickles a picture of my painted rip, the Pickles Rocks. Pickles Rocks? The Pickle Rocks. The Pickle Rocks. What? <laughs> You're oh, going to have to good. review that. I like that. All right. Now we're kind of balanced, right? You know what? That's one place I've never been. Sacramento. Ooh, California. Like Raised in Montreal. My family's still there. Okay. We have a big cheese shop, the best. That's the new one. That wasn't there when I was there. What is it? No. Uh, we have a big cheese shop, but you have not cheese. Tea or cheese? Mm. Tea, cheese mm. shop. Is that what you said? Cheese. Cheese shop. Cheese. I do like me some cheese. Smoked Gouda, man. Yeah. Hook me up with some smoked Gouda. And some wheat thins, okay? Mm. That is the bomb. Mm -hmm. I love distressing Matt, doors. Matt, are you German? I am I am more German than German. Oh, guys, look at that! Yeah. What do you think so far? I'm actually. I'm thinking it's yeah. absolutely amazing. I'm actually Swiss, so a little bit south. Swiss, Swiss and Bavarian. So I'm thinking oh, PM ahead. for the brush. Was never notified that I got one of the pre-order. If you um, ordered one, right. that's how you would have gotten on the first load of the brushes. The first night, I think, when I talked about the brush when I was using it, I said, just email me if you want one. I didn't realize that I would get so many emails. It would be crazy to keep up with. So then I came on live the second day, and I said, guys, I put the brush up. And uh, so that way, whoever gets to them and gets them pre-ordered will be on the list for the first batch. So if you want to get on the list for the second batch, if you didn't get to actually purchase one, slash pre-order one then just know i'll be putting up another link here and they'll actually be here before i do it so you won't have to wait um but give me like another few days until they get here well i guess the new york deli is still there and uh the howard johnson's is no longer there oh, that, that's, sad. that's sad i love how this is looking all right i'm going to pop over here on this side this side Sonny, I posted a couple pictures of corner cabinet done with the antiquing kit from the late 70s to share. Oh, site. I saw that on our Jungle yeah. Bee Sherry page, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and so, so for those of you who have no idea what we're talking about, um, the other video the other night, I was telling you guys that I created a page, a page where everybody could just post their junk monkey pictures and help each other out. I'm in that group to help people and just, you know, anything well, you want to share for inspiration. Well, Sne Sylvia, we're still going to be on during the week. We're just not going to do it every night. You, you don't want me to die, do you? Joanna Holbrook is waiting <laughs> for me to answer, answer, answer her email. Did we answer her email? I don't know. I get hundreds of emails. Yeah. We'll get to yeah, you, girl. We, we Unless you want to just shout it out here. Yeah. If Push it's not personal email, or yeah. specific, you're more than welcome. If it's just a paint question, yeah. grab us when we're live. That's probably the best, the quickest way to get us, right? Yeah. But if it's about your order or about anything specific like that that's more personal, then you definitely want to send us an email and just, just hang out until we get Anna, to you. Anna, you better talk to Linda 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 about that. So... Uh, Blue will go well with my indigo shibori fabric I made. Oh, Ooh, that sounds nice. You make fabric? That sounds cool. Yeah, it is. All right. So oh, cool. Thank you, Dee Dee. We've enjoyed getting to see everybody here. 
and having everybody in here and mm -hmm. I get to know them. Like, I see a lot of people. I, I, I remember I a lot of people my on. Uh, that I got to know during the uh, 30 Days Live back, yeah, in, right? back in August. So, yeah, it's kind of like we're like a... Um, <laughs> Karen, a dysfunctional you, family, you're, right? you're 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 a naughty monkey, Karen. Um, so yeah, so I got to know <laughs> everybody, and uh, you know I like seeing everybody. So, so guys, what I did was these. So this was a white piece. Jan Daniel says Matt sounds like the guy who drinks wine and complains about stuff. I'm actually drinks wine and complains about stuff. No, I'm actually the guy who drinks wine and blows stuff up. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, right. So, yeah, yeah. Although I'm, you could totally drink wine and complain about stuff if you really wanted to. Yeah, but Jan, I'm a man of action. <laughs> and when you when you put alcohol in me, I turn into oh, a really you're... man of action. How many lives will you do after the 20 days? Well, we How come on lives? like twice yeah. a week. Yeah. yeah a couple, a couple times a week you'll see Yeah, us. we're on a couple times a week. So here's something I did, guys. This, and I did this right before I came on camera because I wanted it to be dry by the time I did this. These were brass handles. Can you see the back? Can you see the back? Yes. All I did was take some of our vintage white and I painted them. And I'm going to do a little distressing even with them, but I did not want to have brassy uh, speckled handles on here uh, knowing that I was going to go with a blue and white yes, kind of look, right? right? Lays them wax. Yep. So we'll put this on. I need to get a second screw for this little guy right here. Becky Woodfield said, my husband just made me put on headphones. How rude. I'm addicted to you. Too. Uh, well, tell <laughs> Becky. Becky, well, tell your husband I don't appreciate that much. Where's the love, man? Too funny. All right. So I just need to put so, this a little bit tighter. Carmen must be from Texas. Okay. Because she says chippiness on the small right drawer uh, towards the bottom corner looks like the shape of Texas. This one right here? Yeah. Isn't Texas like a boot or something? No, that's Italy. No, no, no. There is, I swear to God, there's some state that looks like the shape of the booth. Joanna, I am here. I can't remember what it was. Look how nice that is, guys, right? Mm. So we played up the white that was already on it. We used the milk paint. You know, it gave us some really pretty chippy and even some cracking and that sort of stuff. If you see over here in a second. Um, and then we distressed some more to really bring it through. We got a little bit of peaks of the wood coming through right down to that as well, which is cool because when you have multiple colors, that's when you get more of a even deeper distressing because think about a door on the side of the road that, you know, that's been weathered and somebody painted it over years and years and years. You see multiple colors, right? So we've got brown, we've got white, we've got blue going on. So I just painted the uh, handles. Remember I say that our Chalky Style paint is the milk with the muscles, the milk with the muscles, the uh, paint with the muscles, the milk, the milk with paint, the muscles, <laughs> the milk with the muscles, and the, um, see now I'm all messed up, and the uh, milk paint is the unpredictable paint, right? So I use that kind mm. to do the handles with, all right? I think I'm going to put a, so I can seal this if I want, or I don't I mean, have to. Oh, I Laura wants to know if you thing. got her book list from her. I did, thank you, Laura. Yes. You're awesome. Girl, send me this awesome book. Can I water down the paint and use it as a glaze? Absolutely. You can, if you really want to. Yep. All right. Just All right. I think I'm going to go ahead. I like how like this kind of gave me a There's watercolor so effect on it. Let me get over here. On. So many I need really, some advice for the cabinet. I'm really thinking about putting something like that on there. Um, I think that would be cute. Let's do it. We okay. Um, I've got two stencils. Which one do you guys like best? One, one or two. All right, two, I needed to find a piece one. that I could use one of these stencils on. This one's got more of a lacy, finer, smaller, which I'm thinking will be cuter because the detail in the front of those drawers are just like smaller. Um, and then we have this one, which is just a wider print, right? Can you see the difference? Yeah. Although that is cute too. Look down here. You can see them in down here. Come down here with the camera. Right here. Which one do you think I should do? One or two. One, two. Two one. or one. Now you're going to mess everybody up. So, anyways, does Jump Monkey have a white wax? Well, just take our wax and add a little bit of the... Iceberg white. Iceberg white to it. There yep. you go. Hey, Matt, I got some Kentucky Shine for you. Oh, Joanna. <laughs> you, you're, you're pulling on his heartstrings? You, Joanna, you know you wouldn't have Kentucky Shine if it wasn't for where we're from. <laughs> oh, you're going that direction. Yeah. Oh, I'll see. Oh, that's pretty. You do realize, realize that? You, you do realize it. All y'all from uh, Kentucky where you're making that stuff uh -huh. is all from my home county in Pennsylvania. So I think we're, what was it? Everybody in Pennsylvania, 
in Fayette County is re originally from Fayette County is here. related to uh, anybody who's originally from Kentucky. So, so you're related? We got a lot of weird stuff going on Are you here. trying to say you're related? Um, we might be. You never know. All right, I'm going to use a little bit of our vintage white of the uh, chocolate Did you take paint. the before picture? I did. I was a good girl tonight. I really was. I did it even before I put white paint on the handles, all right? So I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm going to go ahead with this one. What do you think? One? Do you guys like ones? Oh, I'm just kind of going through. There's a lot of conversation going on. Love, love, love it. Cool. Let's go for it, all right? So now I'm just going to take my shabby chip brush. And I'm going to put a very distressed, I've gone very distressed with this uh, table. I'm not going to put a second coat of paint on it. I like the white coming through. It gives me like a, even like a watercolored effect in some parts of it, the milk paint does. Now I'm going to just pull my brush all over. Laura must not have heard you when you said that you got the book list. Yep, I did. Uh, yes. And she did an awesome job. Newfoundland. Yep. And you probably saw her on CBC back in the day. Yep, absolutely. You You're talking about from somebody. Jury duty selection. Oh, living my, Don't start. living my dream. Don't start. Living my Louisiana dream, man. Louisiana is the boot shaped state. Thank you. I knew it was somewhere down there. Uh, did you paint the handles with uh... Chucky? Oh, you. With our Chucky stuff. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right, you ready? Louisiana. There we go. So just kind of went over it like. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. That's pretty. I yeah. like that. All right, let me dry that real fast. Let me dry it and do a little distressing on that, even a little bit more, okay? So yes, these I got at Walmart four ninety nine. Wow, I got two sweet. different kinds. So run and get them. They're actually made by Waverly. Waver oh. Waverly's got some uh, pretty cool stencils that they've now added to Walmart. So check your Walmart to see if you can find them there. Mm -hmm. I found some smaller ones as well for a dollar ninety nine, which I like to put on smaller pieces. So like for example, if you didn't have a big one to fill this out, and I'll show you what it looks like when I get it all up and put together, but I gotta show you something. I must show you. I must show you. I thought that was funny. I Michigan is the mitten state. I think Wisconsin looks more like a thumb in the mitten. I always called uh, uh, Michigan the crowd claw. So I was also thinking about using this one. I got these three stencils as well at Walmart. It's made by Waverly. So this one was the leaf one. You remember we put the leaf on the table, right? And did some gold shimmer. That was pretty cool. Um, this one here I used the other night in my coat, my paint and coaching club. We were talking about um, doing furniture and making things like this, like doing things where you can add bling bling onto your furniture. And you guys know I have a club behind the scenes and we're in there. Go to JuggMonkeyPaint.com if you want to find out more, but we talk business and we talk about like different furniture techniques. But anyway, I used this stencil here. It was small. And you see how I added a pearl in here. We did some fun stuff like that. So anyway, these are cute, but only a buck ninety nine. So go get a bunch for your stash. So when you work on a table like this, right, you can go kind of something that's in proportion to it. But I also could have done something like use two of these smaller ones here. Can you see how small that is? Is like this shape right here where you do kind of like two and you put them like catty corner horizontal to each other right that would have been really nice too tess he did that because he, he was he trying tries. to scare you out, scare you away from it so glad you're doing this sis. i had to laugh this morning my husband asked if i would add an extension table to the nightstand I said heck yeah <laughs> she was so i love she it she was so forceful to nail i was, she was so I, did you see that did you I, see how forceful I'm expecting, i said Get on this, like seriously, Mr. Stencil, like get on. Like, like you are gonna be like on top of this stand, whether you like it or not. So just off your little behind right up there. No, Serious Jair, look it up. Fayette, Pennsylvania and Kentucky, the re the relation uh the uh family uh relationship in Kentucky. Remember Fayette is where the whiskey rebellion started. And everybody who left went to Kentucky. So here's what I'm doing. This is a distressed weathered piece. I'm going to, now that I've dried it, I'm going to take my same sand pad and I'm going to run it through it, okay? I'm going to run it in the same direction. So what happens is it eats away at the paint right here and it starts to break it down, just like a faded t-shirt, like a faded logo, right? Yeah. Take a few parts of it out. 
No. Nope. You can just freely do it. If you need adhesive, just go over I to. Be, I am like way, way behind. Get yourself a. Um, in, in your comments, you mean? Yeah. You can't keep up. Everybody, to it? yeah, I can't keep up. What the heck? But anyway, you can get sprays to put on the back of stencils so that they become adhesive, right? And it's only a couple bucks and it goes forever. You can put them on your walls. On your furniture. I, so what do you guys think? Him, I don't know the answer to that. Can you that. see that? Can you show them the I'm bottom? I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, let me show you. I'm, I'm going to take you on a tour here. Uh, so it's she, Sonia. Hey. So, so she just took my phone away from well, me? Well, I want, I know I'm going to give you a No, you these. can't see it because yes. you can't see it. Okay, come on now. You can't see it. Come on now. No. Yeah. No, you take yeah. my phone. I see. You see what happens? You keep messing with me. All right, so we've got our distress stencil on the top. We've got our painted white handles. They were brass, right? Love that. I did distress it a little bit just to bring some of the distressing through to kind of tie it all in together. The milk paint is chippy. I like this weathered jean kind of look, you know what I'm saying? But I could also add some wax if I wanted to and really revive it and bring it to life. <sighs> what do you think? Should I put some wax on it or do you guys like that weathered jean dusty kind of look that's going right now? Jean Jean. Jean Jean. Yep, absolutely. Here you go. Fine, give me my phone. There's your job. Take your job back. You have one. Love Max tax. I got yeah. lots of tax. Yes, <laughs> he's got a sleeve going down. So, All right, a couple of them. <laughs> Love it. So anyway, there we go. Right. Everybody's saying there tatted up. There we go. All right, let's see here. Tat it up. Share it again. Let's see here. Yeah, Matt's a creative on his body, right? So he's all, all about. Uh, you know, that's his way to express himself. Me, I paint the furniture. He just paints himself. All right, you get in front so we can see the total view of this. I will once you move. See the total, total view of this. And what do you think? Should I put some uh, wax on it and seal it, or should I just leave it with this? Because it really know. doesn't wax. need it. Wax. Everybody's saying wax on. wax on. Wax on. Should I do it? Should I do it? Let me wax leave it. On. All right, we got a few moments to kill. Let's go ahead and, by the way, did you tell people about your box of mystery tonight? Or are you keeping um, that secret? Okay. We're down to the last. Over here. This is the fun part. What? Um, are you going to let me tell them? Or are you gonna yeah, do? but they can watch while you're talking. So, um, yeah. Make sure you share. So, I might pick you for the box of mystery. Share. Right share. Somebody will win. Okay. <laughs> What he said, all right. So, yeah, I, I would say Matt's a few Matt, man, a few words, but he's really not. But what he just said. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing now is using our new Monkey Shine wax to seal this piece. Um, so I put it on. You see me go in circles because that just pushes it into all the different wood grain, all the different pores. So and then I get a brush. That's oh, not a brush. I'm sorry. Then I get so a. So the amazing thing. I have there's to what say. it is right here. So the amazing thing is. Uh huh. You've used mm -hmm. one can. Yes. For 19 nights of. Other uh, than a couple nights that I didn't. Yeah, I used a poly on it. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Let's see. 17 nights of projects. Yep. Absolutely. I'd feel safe with saying that. And I used it before. You got 17 projects out of one can. Yep. You're going to have 18 now. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I'm going to get them all. I'm going to get. Yeah. When we finish tomorrow night, I guess I will have 20 projects because I did pieces before I even started using that can on live here. But yeah, so what wax does is it seals your piece, it protects your piece, right? It actually goes down into the wood grain, so um, it doesn't sit on the top. What you do is you, you buff it in with your wax brush, um, look for those on our webpage, uh -huh. and then you get your uh, wax off buffing cloth. This is a trademark cloth, which is amazing for buffing off. Um, just you know wax like this here okay it's made the, to the perfect consistency to be able to get off any sort of like you know sometimes mm -hmm. wax can feel weird to the fingers well what you're supposed to do is put it down and then buff it off right and then you're just left with a nice smooth surface it's amazing I know it just Omar. Feels so you, you silky can't smooth. make this stuff up Omar it's weirder and stranger in fiction what's that it says my wife watches you too every time she gets I hear your husband is a <laughs> yes <laughs> absolutely <laughs> that's how you get the muscles right all right, so let's go ahead and do the Don't front start of flexing on me, remember? Okay. I don't like it. You don't like it? I don't like it okay. when she flexes on me. All right. I get scared. Okay, all right. So I'm just going to go and add some over here. I don't really have to put it on this piece if I don't want to, but I will add it. It'll revive the color a little bit, especially after I sanded it down. 
bring some nice fresh color to it. All right, let's go ahead and wipe that section off. I do it in sections at a time. Let's get it all over. All over. Your polish is not, I'm going to switch. Your polish is not going to dry quickly. You have plenty of time to work with it. Absolutely, and we have used a polyacrylic on projects. Yeah, you can use, yeah. So if you're working with the milk paint and you're doing this process with wax. <laughs> Jamie says, always sharing your work, Meta Girl and Chesapeake that watches your videos. She does your furniture. Very nice. Oh, I love the Chesapeake. I would definitely go down through there. Carol says, I sure hope I got wax in my box that's coming. Oop, oop. Some of you will get wax. Uh, Absolutely. Yes. yes. What's the name of the wax? It's monkey shine. Yeah, what do we do? So with you it? can shiny your hiney. <laughs> there you go. Right here. It's nice good for stuff. the skin. This is what this is my tin right here, because I've been working on it now for twenty projects or so. But you it comes in a nice big old like Ooh. piece like that. Big yeah. old tin. Actually it is good for your skin. Yeah, right. All natural. But if you um, How long until the wax dries? Honestly, Overnight, your wax, yeah. yeah. But I would buff it and then leave it for 24 hours. So this is what I'm doing now. This is the buffing process, right? I put it on. So it's Karate Kid. You know, you wax on, you wax off, right? The wax goes on, Beverly, you buff it off. Beverly said so yep. her husband's new uh, catchphrase is easy peasy. Easy peasy, baby. Right. Easy peasy. That's right. It is easy peasy. You and too can share do it. from Ottawa. Very nice. Ottawa. Um, what was I going to tell you? There was we have that color in chalk paint. We have one very similar. It's called, uh, what is it called? Liberty Blue. Liberty Blue, yeah. If you it, like the chalk. Yeah, it's yeah. almost the exact same thing. So let me get this, this statement out because I'm going to forget it if I don't tell you. Um, so when you're doing the buffing part right now that we're doing, mm. this is also a nice place where if there's any chippiness that's happening with your milk paint, because it's unpredictable, like we say, um, this is the part where you're, you're buffing it, so the last remnants of any chippiness is probably going to fall off at that part, right? Did you get, um... Let me get to the other side. Did you get buffing cloths back in? Yes. Yes, 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 I did. Yes. When I get off here, I'm going to jump onto our site just to make sure we're all restocked on everything online. Do you clean your wax brush each time? I do. Okay. Yeah, and we actually have a, a Hello, brush cleaner. New Jersey. It's called Little White Lie, and, uh... I would encourage you to get one because it conditions the bristles of your brush to keep them um, just better longer, right? Lori, what's cool about the wax is you can take the wax and you can take any of the milk paint colors and add them to the wax. Yep. And you can make a wax whatever color you'd like. You got it. So, yeah. for example... So, why pay all this extra money for a colored wax yep. when you can get one wax and just add whatever color you want to? Yeah, so if I wanted to add a red wax to some of this... Some of this I'd use some our stage red or red ochre. Um, mix it in with a little bit of this right here. And then I've got my color, right? So we give you the basics of the clear. Seal it with clear. Or add something in for some really cool special looks, right? Is the monkey mo is uh, junk monkey mobile going to love Canada? It. Yes, I'm afraid it is. <laughs> I love that. You Canadians I have had it, it too good for too long. We're coming for you. Oh, Jennifer, there's a ton of people from New Jersey. I can name five off my head right now. <laughs> what? So, there you go. Oh, that is All so All right, I guess I got to pick pretty. somebody, huh? Yes. Can you guys see that up top? Can you go up and show them up here what it looks oh. like? The beautiful fit, doily of sorts, right? Oh. Yeah, I am loving it. Now, you could have put a second coat on it if you really wanted oh. it to, but I like that white underneath with the blue, and it gave me a bit of a watercolor look in some parts, um, and then I just distressed it, went with the texture, and I love it. Uh, Give me hearts you if you too love it as well. Powder with water before mixing. No, yes. Just... Yeah, you do the paint, par the paint powder with water. No, no, for the wax. If you're going to color water. your wax. No water. No water if you're going to color. Yeah. Red would be pretty on here, right? See? See? You just... Okay, you want to pull it back so they can see the full oh, on view? Hang view? on. Hang on. Boop, boop. There we go. Can you use universal colorants in your milk paint? What does that mean? Can you I, use what? I don't know. I guess you can add <laughs> colors, yeah, if you want. You can blend we're our not, yeah, colors we're not, if you want to do that. Yeah, yeah, if you're adding outside, like, 
stuff. You guys get a good view? We can't be responsible for... Yay! Um, I love that, right? Oh, I hope you guys like it, too. Um, No, no, you just put the uh, paint pigment straight into the wax a What's, little bit. Yeah. What's yeah. fun, too, is that if I wanted to, I could have painted this top red... Or maybe a really cool, like the marigold yellow. Why you know what I mean? You? Well, I could have, right? <laughs> or the uh, yellow dory. You know, all the color, the yellow colors that we have. Um, that would be cool. I think with this blue, reds go really well with it. Yellows go really well with it as well. So, you know, totally have fun with it. Make okay. it what you want. So this piece will be for sale this weekend in our shop. I got. Come I got. Take a look. I got to name somebody. And we'll make it yours. I got to name somebody. Okay. He's going to pick somebody. All right. Let's I'm going see. to pick someone. Winner, winner. Don't, don't she make me. No, dinner. why'd you do that? You just totally ruined it. Because I could. You just because totally ruined it. Because I could, because I can. Do you see what and she I does will. to me? I know. Do you see? I was put on this earth. And the big winner for tonight is Donna Friend. <laughs> Donna Friend. <laughs> Donna Friend. Mm, you're on here all the time. Donna so. is a friend of ours. Yes, Donna. You know, I need you to answer up, Donna. Donna, Donna. Guys, Donna. while I'm waiting for her, like, how cute would something like this be? Donna's right? just on here. So okay, well, she's let's on see. Here right. Listen, then pair it with something like this, right? Like, and create a little space for oh yourself. My God. Put a basket on there. This is just an old frame that I chicken wired the back of. Um, so if you go to places like Goodwill, you can always get cheap frames. This one I picked, of course, from like a thrift store, but uh, you can get all kinds of sizes and then just fill them with, you know, what you're doing here and way to go. Um, yeah, love it, right? Donna Friend, you're the big winner. Uh, email us uh, mm -hmm. at junkmonkey. Yep. Paint. paint at gmail.com. Yes, it. we ship all over the country. We ship paint, <laughs> we don't ship furniture. It's just unless you're willing to pay a lot for it, because yeah. I will tell you, furniture shipping is not cheap, right? Yep. There you go. So, all right. So then, of course, I'm pairing it. So in this case, we got white, we got blue, and red would be our accent color, right? Yeah. Very, very nice. And then when you pair this with a light frame, <clears throat> even though this is actually antique lace and this is white showing through, remember how I tell you that you can train your eye to make it believe that it's actually seeing the same thing. So don't get caught up on having exact colors. But this would go beautiful with this. And you could create a little landing space when you come into your house. You want to drop your keys, your mail. And, of course, you've got all these little wooden drawers that you can work with as well, right? I already gave Donna her, her instructions. Woohoo! Uh, she's got it. Yay. So we're good. Nice. Okay. Right. Well, that's it, guys. So tomorrow we will be back on tomorrow night for day 20 of the day 20. Thank Mill Paint challenge all right i can't believe thank it. the good lord up above let's see what we paint for our grand finale okay we'll come up with something good for tomorrow night and have oh, a thanks, whole Sue. lot of fun by the way if you want to subscribe to know when we go live all you have to do is when you're done here go to uh, the top of our facebook page at junk monkey paint company there's the message button that message goes to pickles okay our junk monkey and so you hit message and you just type the word live send him a message that says live and you're subscribed just like that. All right, All right, guys. You guys have a terrific evening. See you tomorrow. All right, see you. Bye. <clears throat> Bye.